Hey guys, Boston, Massachusetts is in the house. So we're about to talk about it. The Queen's Flip interview with 50 Cent's son, Marquise, and also his first baby's mother, Shaniqua. First of all, I give that a <laughs> thumbs up. I disagree with everyone's opinion on the internet that said that Queen's Flip should have mind his business and he do not have the right to interfere in another man's household. Okay, and I have to agree with Queen's Flip because he said, first of all, I think it was a great interview, okay? They were not bashing 50, okay, and talking reckless, one, okay? Two is Queen's Flip said he was invited to the business. And I believe that. He said he had a three-hour conversation based on, you know, just a many of things. And, you know, you have to separate the man from the character. That's rule number one. And two is how do you be a parent and you rocking with another parent and child fighting one another against each other? That does not make sense to me. So, you know, there's an old saying that you can bring the horse to the well, but you can't make him drink. So, yes, he had the interview with Marquise, okay? And for the first time, I seen the young man and the baby's mother, you know, have some highlight moments about 50 that was actually good. And I feel as though if people, you know, if Marquise... And Shaniqua and Queen Slips was dogging 50. Everybody been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not with all of that dissension and starting dissension amongst family members and all of that. In fact, my heart breaks to know that situation. That's why I really never comment on it. But I'm only commenting on the interview, the interview that happened. A lot of people feel like Queen Slip should mind his business. No. I think if you're friends with that young man and that young man, God is listening to you, yes. You know, keep it real. You know, you can be neutral and give an honest opinion or statement. It is called wise counsel, although everyone disagree. And it takes a village. It takes a village. It does take others, you know, you confining in others and them listening to you. And them trying to really, like, call peace in that situation. You know, shame on the individual who thinks that the father and son should be still beefing. It's a pandemic out here. And I can assure you, when either one of them, if something tragic was to happen to either one of them, they both will regret not having a relationship, even on speaking terms, because they are living parents. You know, a 